Hello, I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you how to add routing rules to an Ops any &E team. So let me open an Ops any &E team. So I am choosing engineering team C. You can see that there are escalation policies and on-call schedules also. But actually, these two features were created by Ops any &E while creating this team. So first of all, what is a routing rule? The purpose of the routing rule is to route the alerts based on the content source and the time during which the alert comes in to the engineering team C. So that is the purpose of the routing rule. You can add the routing rule here. You can have the button. So before uh, going to create the routing rule, I'll edit this on-call schedule for critical alerts. Actually, here I want to escalate uh, the critical alerts only to the on-call schedule team. So I don't want to escalate alerts other than critical alerts. Okay. So if any critical alerts comes into the engineering team, see, then only I need to escalate uh, that alert. Otherwise, I don't want to escalate. So that is a use case for this video. So first of all, I will change the name of this schedule. Uh, to change the name of the schedule, just click on this pencil button. And here I am just uh, including the word critical and click on update. Therefore, the name of the schedule has been updated and I will update the rotation also to edit the rotation. You just click on this uh, pencil button and there you can see the edit rotation. So here I am removing the Rajesh from the rotation and I will choose the daily rotation and I restrict the time interval from 10 to 8 because my team works from morning 10 to evening 8 only. So I am choosing 8 o'clock and update the rotation okay so uh, let me uh, clone this rotation because uh, one more guy from my team also works uh, in the same rotation so in fact all members of my team works from 10 to 8 only therefore let me create rotation for uh, this guy so the daily rotation restrict time intervals 10 to 8 and clone it so i use the clone option because uh, both the guys have the same uh, timings so now i will add one more schedule for manager manager schedule for team c and click on add so here i will add rotation for manager so he is the manager and daily and restrict time intervals from 10 to 8. The manager also works from 10 to 8. So these are the daily hours for our team. So let me choose 8 o'clock in the evening and click on add. So this is the rotation for manager. This is the rotation for the critical uh, team, critical alerts team. So now this is the escalation policy created by the offices any while creating the team. If you want to edit this, you can do that. If you click on this pencil button, there you can have the option to add rule and you can have the option to delete the existing rule. So these are all the escalation rules. First of all, uh, this first escalation rule will uh, trigger. After that, the second, after that, third rule will trigger. So if you uh, read this, if alert is not acknowledged immediately, notify on-call users in engineering team C schedule. So according to this escalation rule, what happens is if any if any alert comes into the team C, um, immediately it will notify on-call users in the engineering team C schedule. Okay, it will wait for five minutes. If no one acknowledges the alert within five minutes uh, of its creation, again it will notify the next user in the rotation for team c schedule okay and after that it will wait for 10 minutes if no one acknowledges within 10 minutes what happens is uh, you know, 10 minutes after creation remember my friends so uh, the, what does it mean so for uh, the time gap between this rule and this rule is only five minutes this is 10 minutes after creation okay time gap between this rule and this rule is five minutes okay so it will notify all members of the engineering team C. So this is the uh, escalation policy uh, given by the Obsesony. So if you don't want this, you just click simply delete this. Okay. So I think this is fine. 
but uh, I need to change the name of the schedule. Actually, I added critical right. Therefore, I am changing the name of the schedule here. Critical engineering team C schedule. And I'll add one more rule. So after five minutes, notify on call users in schedule. So it, it will again notify the on call users in the TMC schedule only. So next, it will wait for five more minutes. After five minutes, it will notify on call users in manager's schedule for TMC and save it. Okay, like that you can give the uh, sequence of escalation rules and suppose for example even after 10 minutes of uh, its creation if no one acknowledges the alert you can repeat the process of these escalation rules to repeat this simply just uh, switch on this suppose for example if you want uh, to give a five minutes of the time gap okay so after 10 minutes usually it will notify the manager schedule for tmc and it will wait for five more minutes if no one acknowledges uh, from this third escalation rule uh, within five minutes what happens is it will start the process from the uh, from the first escalation rule okay so i'll update uh, for now uh, we will discuss about these features in coming video uh, let me update for now okay so now uh, the escalation policy has been set uh, and this is the uh, on call schedule also has been set so now i'll add routing rule add routing rule let me add critical and here you see here this is for match all alerts but i don't want to match all alerts i have a criteria that is priority so i am choosing priority here equals equal to critical so i don't want to restrict to the time interval so if you want you can restrict from again 10 to 8 why because uh, our team is working from 10 to 8 therefore uh, 10 to 8 okay so you can restrict that and here you must give the escalation policy remember my friends you have the option to choose the schedule also but it is not a great idea okay you must choose escalation policy why because if you choose the schedule you will miss the features of the escalation policy so simple so escalate according to escalation policy you can escalate the uh, you know alert okay so immediately it will notify the on call users in schedule after five minutes again it will notify the people after 10 minutes uh, it notify the manager schedule so like that you have an escalation policy so you will miss all the features it will notify simply it will notify on if you choose schedule it simply notify on call users in schedule that's it okay so it cannot repeat the process it cannot the it cannot uh, uh, escalate uh, the alert uh, that it cannot notify the alert according to escalation policy okay mm. so that is the beauty of the uh, using escalation you must choose escalation uh, please remember that you just click on the add button that's it so if any critical alert comes into uh, engineering team c it will route alerts to team c escalation helps route alerts to no one actually i don't want to uh, uh, to route alerts uh, if non-critical alerts comes into engineering TMC. Okay, we only I want to route alerts um, which are critical. Okay, so that is my use case. Therefore, uh, I have created routing rules according to uh, my use case. Okay, so that is the purpose of the routing rule. Okay. Thank you. So in future videos, we will go deep into uh, routing rules and we will see uh, how to configure the escalation policy um uh, by using this repeat uh, thing also okay and uh, we will see uh, some more features of this uh, on call schedules actually so, suppose for example if uh, any one on call user is on vacation so we can uh, add override so what does it mean we can replace uh, suppose g naresh is on vacation uh, from 28 november to like uh, december 1st we can um, replace him with uh, uh, one more person so we can add override without disturbing this uh, uh, schedule. We can add override. Therefore, um, the obsidiany uh, will pick the final schedule. Anyway, obsidiany will pick the final schedule. So the override uh, user will come into the final schedule. Therefore, uh, we cannot disturb these rotations. Okay, we don't want to uh, disturb these rotations if there is any person is on vacation. So we will see all these uh, um, beautiful features of obsidiany in coming videos. So if you really love this video, you just click on like button. And if you 
uh, want to get updates about uh, our uploads uh, to this channel, you just uh, click on subscribe. Therefore, you will get notifications. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.